Okay, we're going to try to validate whether or not physiology and or medicine is a complete science. So here is a molecule that I picked out. And there are several molecules that will lead to this idea. There's a I have a hypothesis that physiology and uh, medicine are not a complete science. And that they don't know every, every endpoint, every dimension, every energy, every molecular structure that <coughs> could function in the system. And basically, I want to show that here's one in omega hydroxy L arginine. Here's the molecule. It's the change of arginine, which is an amino acid found somewhere along the lines in the doctrine of physiology and cytology and biochemistry and, and potentially pathology. Okay, so in this, this. This is currently modified. This is PubChem. This is National Library of Medicine. Uh, modified in 2020 for whatever reason. That was recently. And this is currently uh, August 13th. So it was uh, just here uh, five days ago. Uh, five days ago they modified this. And if you look at it, like it gets into what it might do uh let's read here no hydroxy arginine is a product of arginine nitrate oxide pathway and it's the first intermediate in the process catalyzed nitric acid synthesis. nos is a hemi protein that catalyzes the oxidation of l arginine in the presence of nadph to form nitric oxide and citrulline citrulline this molecule appears to interfere with cell proliferation cell growth by inhibiting arginase and by nuclear mn2 positive metal low enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of l arginine okay it appears arginine appears that's the first sign if it isn't clear it appears, and that's our government talking, that it's not absolute. So you got to think about what absolute really is. So that's the big question: is is physiology, pathology, and medicine, and the science of biochemistry fully understood? Uh, the way that you could do do a test for that and hypothesize it and probably impossibly validate it is by generating molecules and doing world research on what has been currently published for like all different types of derivatives uh, and there's dimensional aspects of all sorts of chemical and physical aspects that are probably not clear to people who don't hypothesize subatomic particles. People who don't hypothesize subatomic particles and difference in energy and difference in spatials. I mean, medicine can be considerably extremely quantum physical. So, that can lead to variation a lot of variations in a product or many products so uh yeah i can say that the science of medicine physiology and pathology is not 100 percent and i want to say that it's probably not 80 percent uh there's different ways to read more on about this and find out if it is 80 percent but you have to show the graphies, uh, you know, the different spectro, spectro, uh, graphic data 
where you show the connection of molecules in the cells and the tissues and how you relate them to the processes and metabolism and all that and how things can happen on a time-oriented molecular energetic quantum physical basis so like and then you have to separate it into potential versus nature versus uh versus uh therapy so you get into all that and you're gonna find it doesn't work out but they do know a lot so We'll be, we'll be assuming they don't know everything.